It has not been a good week for Tom Price, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, following a string of expo days from Politico on his use of expensive private jets, charging over $400,000 to the taxpayers since just May on travel that sometimes combined personal and government business. The Inspector General at HHS already started a review of Price's flights. Now the Republican-led House Oversight Committee is getting on the case, launching an investigation into agency travel. Most ominously for Price, the man who appointed him is taking notice. The president himself telling reporters today that he is not happy. I was looking into it, and I will look into it, and I will tell you personally, I'm not happy about it. I am not happy about it. What are you going to do about it, Mr. President? I'm going to look at it. I am not happy about it, and I let him know it. But it turns out Price isn't the only cabinet secretary with a taste for luxury air travel. According to CBS News, EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt has spent more than 58,000 taxpayer dollars on non-commercial flights, almost a quarter of that total going to a single day of travel within his home state of Oklahoma. Rachana Pradhan is a healthcare reporter for Politico who helped break the story of Tom Price's use of private jets. Uh, Rachana, you've been doing amazing reporting. Thank you for coming on. How big do you think a deal the president's comments are? Well, I, I do think they are quite notable, uh, Chris, because as we saw today, uh, the president is not rushing to defend Secretary Price's use of private planes. And uh, on the other hand, though, we've seen this in the past where uh, Trump will say, we'll see when he wants to dodge <laughs> something. I think it's very fair to say that Price is definitely on thin ice, but is he going to lose his job? We just don't know that yet. In the beginning, it seemed there was, it was sort of a drip, drip, drip. You guys had the story of one weekend in which there was about $50,000 of costs, and then you got another bill, you got 300000 and then up to 400000 You figured out all these things. Um, what's the story that HHS is telling now about why Tom Price needs to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on chartered air travel? Most of the time, the rationale that they've given for us is essentially that Tom Price is a very busy man and that he has a lot of commitments and he needs to uh, get to places and commercial aircraft is not the best way to do that or the most efficient way to do that. Um, with, and to that, we've responded, uh, of course, by finding that there were commercial options definitely available to many of these cities, oftentimes at a much uh, almost always, actually, a, a much less cost yes, uh, to the taxpayer. You know, so um, really, they haven't given us a, a solid justification, I would say, as to why Secretary Price has been taking private planes. Uh, as we, my colleague Dan Diamond and I reported yesterday, uh, two of the trips that we dug into, there was a mixing of official business, uh, according to HHS, and definitely some personal ties that Secretary Price has to the locations where he went. He had lunch with his son in Nashville. He uh, went uh, a day and a half early to St. Simons Island in, in, in Georgia, where he owns some property. Those are two examples. But just to give an example, I mean, we, you know, NBC used to run this series called Fleecing of America, right? The whole idea was like they'd find someone with their hand in the till, like, you know, you spent too much money of the taxpayer's money. When he flew from D.C. to Nashville, that was an $18,000 flight for 90 minutes of work in Nashville for a $200 flight on commercial air, correct? Right, and he was on the ground in Nashville for just under six hours is what we found based on the contracts and the flight records that we were able to locate. So uh, how uh, HHS is justifying this is that he went to a medication dispensary where he spoke, and then he later went to a, a, a summit basically in the afternoon uh, where he made another speech. But really, uh, as you said, the amount of time that he was doing uh, official work in his capacity as HHS secretary was for 90 minutes, roughly, which really uh, is very little compared to uh, how much he spent on the flight itself. All right, Rachana Pradhan, again, uh, excellent work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.